take a moment and find a comfortable seat. Uh, you can sit on the floor if you'd like to. Um, if you have a bolster, a meditation cushion, awesome. If not, you can just use a, a throw pillow from your couch if you want to. Uh, in addition, you can sit in a chair as well. You can sit on your sofa, um, anywhere else that feels comfortable. And, um, and yeah, we'll get started in just a moment. I hope that you all had a good night's rest and going to be a sunny day today, which I'm really excited for. Um, yeah, I'll just play just a little longer. Hmm. I'm going to uh, be doing some mushroom again. again. Um, thank you for me. Uh, if any of you have been joining me for these morning meditations, or if you know me in real life, <laughs> then um, you probably know that I'm uh, an very, uh, I'm an avid mushroom forager, mushroom hunter. I've been doing it for about something like 10 to 15 years, somewhere around that range. And I'm gonna be going out um, to visit my friends up at the farm that I love. And we're gonna be socially distancing, but uh, we're gonna go out for a mushroom forage um, on on their property and look for some beautiful spring mushrooms. Um, obviously morels, you know, but there's all sorts of other great spring mushrooms as well and some other winter mushrooms that move on into the spring season as well. So we'll see what we can find today. We'll go ahead and get started. Hmm. Welcome everyone. And if you don't know me, my name's Jojo Jackson um, and uh, I'm a yoga teacher and a meditation teacher an Ayurvedic counselor here in Nashville, Tennessee, where I live. And uh, we're just going to do a really simple morning practice, just some easy movement to wake up the spine. We're going to um, do some uh, breathing techniques, a simple breathing practice, and then we're going to do a, a meditation, a seated guided meditation. So finding that comfortable seat, if you haven't already, um, just take a moment. You can shift your hips a little bit right and left, forward and backward. Just starting to feel your hips um, start to root down into your, um, your, your representation of earth, whatever that is for you. And uh, when you find that, that, that comfortable seat, you can close your eyes for a moment if you'd like to. And just start to feel the tailbone and the sit bones root down into your earth, whatever that is for you your chair, your sofa, your floor, your cushion. And maybe start to imagine that the tailbone and sit bones, that that whole kind of space of the back of the hips and the bottom of the hips is like a flower bulb underneath the soil. And that flower bulb is deeply anchored into the earth. Notice what that feels like in your hips to let your tailbone and sit bones anchor down like a flower bulb in the soil. And from that flower bulb, the stem starts to emerge and push up out of the soil and grow into the sun, growing tall and long and strong. Imagine that's your spine growing up and out of the root of the tailbone and the sit bones, growing out of the sacrum, and growing up long, straight, and tall. And on the very top of that stem, of your flower, is a brilliant, beautiful spring blossom, a tulip, a crocus, a daffodil. Imagine the crown of your head like that, allowing the crown of the head to just start to open up to the energy of the universe and to all that surrounds us. And just noticing, checking in, what sort of sensations that creates in the body 
the physical self. What sort of sensations does that create in the mind? Any fluctuations of thoughts or emotions? Now like a flower bulb blowing in the breeze, like a flowering breeze. We're just gonna start to sway our torso. You can start making some circles. You can hold the knees if you'd like or rest the hands on the thighs and just start to gently roll the entire torso. And the circles can be broad or narrow, whatever feels best for you. All right, and then switching directions, rolling out the hips the other way. Feel your body weight shifting in the four corners of your hips, the sit bones, the tailbone, the pubic bone. And then coming back to center. Good. Let's make some big circles with the shoulders. And switch directions. Beautiful. Releasing those circles. We're going to make some infinity loops or some figure eights with the shoulders. And as you move out your shoulders, just feel the spine's fluidity, that easy movement of the spine, the shoulder blades, the chest, and the rib cage collarbones, even the neck, and then switching directions the other way. And starting to kind of shake off those morning cobwebs. There's a good chance many of us just woke up a little bit ago, so just starting to loosen up the body. Good. Coming back to center, let's just pump the shoulders some more. <laughs> and then let it go. And notice how that feels. On an exhale, let the chin lower to chest. Head is heavy. Feel the stretching in the back of the neck. And slowly roll the left ear to the left shoulder. Let the head hang heavy to that left shoulder. Feel the stretch on the right side neck. Then rolling the chin back to chest. Gently roll the right ear to the right shoulder. Feel the stretching in the opening on the left side neck. Good. Rolling the chin back to chest, and then we'll just flow through. And stretching open right and left side neck. Take one more round, stretching the right side neck and then stretching the left side neck. And when you finish that last round, no rush. Just let the head come back, to, the chin come back to chest, head heavy. And slowly lift the head. Good. And checking in, notice how the body feels. To do a breathing technique. It's going to be the same one we've been exploring this week. It's called Samavriti Pranayama or equal distance breathing, often called the square breath. So what we're going to do for this square breath is we're going to explore the four parts of the breath. It's going to be the inhale to start, the space at the top of the inhale just before the exhale, the exhale, and the space at the very bottom of the exhale just before the inhale. So those are the four parts of the breath, making it a square breath. Um, we're going to explore all four, of those far, four parts of those breaths um, using a retention at the top and bottom, at the spaces between the breaths. So just a word of, 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 of precaution, if for some reason uh, retaining the breath starts to feel um, unsustainable in any way, you're more than welcome to release that, to, to omit the retaining and just do the equal distance on inhale and exhale, maybe just taking a small pause um, between the breaths. Um, but what we'll do is we're going to do it together to a four count. 
um, on inhale, on the retentions, on the exhales. And we're gonna take seven rounds total. I'll guide the first three, and then the last four you'll take on your own. And if you mess up the, uh, the pattern at all, it's okay. Just join in as, as soon as you can, offer yourself compassion, and just continue with the practice. When you finish the seven rounds total, then you can just release the technique and observe. So finding the hands, maybe rest them on the knees. Palms can face up or down. If you'd like to take a specific mudra, you can use um, chin mudra, which is gonna look kind of like this okay symbol. And you're gonna use this mudra and you're gonna place your palm down on your knee. And that's gonna be a little more grounding, a little more um, sort of rooting like that. And now if you wanna do gyan mudra, it's gonna be the same symbol, it's gonna look like this okay symbol, but instead the palm's gonna face up and that will rest on the knee. Um, in addition, you can take what's called prana mudra. Prana is that vital life force energy connected to the breath. Um, all you'll do is you'll take the middle and index finger, or the yeah, the middle and index fingers on both hands, palms face up, and just rest that on your knee. Great. So preparing your hands, relaxing the body. Let's all take a big inhale together. Open the mouth, and then we'll begin. Inhale, four, three, two, one. Pause, four, three, two, one. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Pause, four, three, two, one. Inhale, four, three, two, one. Pause, four, three, two, one. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Pause, four, three, two, one. Inhale, pause, exhale, pause, inhale, take the next four rounds on your own, and when you finish your four rounds on your own, Release the technique and just notice the effects of this breathing practice. rush whenever you finish your last round release the technique and just take a moment to notice observing what has changed or what has shifted and noticing what's changeless what's constant and you're welcome to close the eyes if you haven't already, or if closing the eyes is uncomfortable in any way, you can always keep a soft and gentle gaze toward the tip of your nose or the space between the eyebrows. Listening to the gentle sound of the singing bowl, letting the sound guide you deep within to your highest, truest self. Let the gentle sound of the singing bowl guide you within 
to your deepest, truest self. Connecting to that profound, yet subtle, inner awareness. Starting to turn that deep inner awareness, start to bring that awareness to your heart center. The very center of the chest, right behind the breastbone, the spiritual heart center the seat of the soul, the seat of our highest, truest self. And your attention settled at the spiritual heart center, right behind the breastbone, in the middle of the chest. in at the spiritual heart center and in that seat of the soul in its home of the heart and start to listen in connecting to your highest truest heart's intention If you find the mind wandering or getting distracted, that's okay. Just offering yourself compassion, staying curious, and returning to the practice whenever you're ready. Turning the attention to the very center of the chest, at the spiritual heart center, and listening in to your highest and truest heart's desire. as you listen in to your highest and truest heart desires, allow it to start to distill and formulate into a single word. That single word is your seed of intention called the Bija Sankalp. Start to repeat that seed of intention yourself. Mentally repeat that intention, knowing that it's real and that it's already happening here now. Holding the awareness in the heart, start to visualize that seed of intention, a golden white seed, no bigger than a grain of rice. Visualize your seed of intention, a golden white seed. In the very center of your heart. As you mentally repeat your seed of intention, as you visualize that golden white seed at the center of your heart, start to feel that seed growing and expanding within your being, mind, body, soul. Expanding its presence, manifesting its presence throughout your being. Start to visualize that golden white seed expanding its light from the center of your heart throughout your body. Traveling 
throughout every bone, every muscle, every cell, every organ, every part of your being, becoming bathed in the golden white light of your intention. Start to visualize that golden white light of your intention, starting to move beyond the boundaries of your skin and spread out into the world around you. That golden white light of your highest and truest intention. start to let that golden white light start to come back into your body, bringing it back in. That golden white light moving back into your heart. That golden white light moving back into that little seed from where it came. That golden white seed of intention at the very center of your heart. Holding the attention at the heart, bring the palms together in prayer. Let the thumbs rest at the breastbone. Now start to visualize that golden white seed at the center of your heart, moving into that little space between your palms. Planting that seed in the space between the palms, let it start to grow there and blossom open into a flower. Keeping the thumbs touching and keeping your pinkies touching, gently start to part the index fingers, part the middle fingers, and part the ring fingers, starting to spread open your palms into the shape of a flower. This is called Padma Mudra, the lotus, growing from the very depths of your being and emerging to open its beautiful blossom in the light of your soul. Smell the fragrant aroma of your flower growing from the seed of your intention. Gently bring the palms back together in prayer into the little shape of a flower bud. And then visualize that golden white seed in the center of your palms. Let it return to your heart, to the seed of your soul. And from there, let it dissolve and disperse throughout your entire being, knowing that that seed of intention is always with you. Invite awareness back into the body, reconnecting to the outside world and reconnecting to the physical self. Hear the sounds of the world around you and hear the sounds coming from within you. Invite gentle movement. Notice the temperature of the room and the textures on the skin. Gently blink open the eyes and take in what you see. Swallow a few times. Notice the watery sensation in the mouth and any flavors on the tongue. Deep in the breath. <sighs> Smell the aromas of the world around you. Bring the palms back to heart center and drawing the awareness back to the heart one more time. 
opening your hearts and minds to the sound of this mantra. If you know it, please join along. We'll start with a big inhale for Om. Um. Within the lotus is me. I am the jewel within the lotus. Peace, peace, eternal peace. Thank you all for joining me this morning. Have a beautiful rest of your day. I'll be back again tomorrow morning at 7.30 a.m. I hope to see you all again at that time. Om Tat Sat.